okay guys so welcome to another video and uh, i just wanted to say uh as uh, i don't know how to say it from the beginning of the video that i recorded this video before but uh, when i was editing it i noticed that i didn't record the voice so now i have to re-record it so uh let's start so basically i will show you guys how to make eyes mm, models of the eyes that i do for my sculpts and i will explain uh, each one of them what they do what what is the purpose of them and how they look and what uh, feeling they they give to your character so basically i have four eyes most most used ones but you can come up with others so as you can see i have a character then the latest character that i sculpted and i will be using him as the uh, character that i will showcase the eyes so as you can see now he's uh, he has no eyes basically and we want to add the eyes so let's start from the most basic one which is uh, a uv sphere so let's click shift a and let's add the uv sphere and i always subdivide it two times so i click ctrl 2 to have this subdivided and then i right clicked on it to shade it smooth and now you have this nice uh, smooth shaded ball which will be our eye uh, and we have to add a mirror modifier so uh, i have to go to properties and let's add the modifier which will be our mirror which is here let's select the object that uh, we want to mirror around and now let's scale it down so usually the eye is basically separated by one more eye so you have uh, the space between the eyes should be it should fit one more eye so as you can see it should be somewhere like this and now let's just move it uh, to the front and i'll move it up a bit and let's see if it fits and i think it's nice so uh yeah this was the most basic eye and i use it a lot i think uh, this was my main uh, eye before i learned how to make the other eyes and this eye basically works the best when you have a blind character so if your character is blind or is very wise this uh, kind of eye uh, give this feeling that your character is wise or blind or maybe also a bit evil and uh, mystific my mystic so uh yeah it's kind of nice looking eye and most typical one and i think it fits uh, with a lot of characters so now let's move on to the other eye so let's select this eye and let's duplicate it by clicking shift d and let's move it to the right you have the eye and now let's first go to edit mode we want to rotate it by 90 degrees on the x-axis like this and now i want to select the middle point so let's go to the vertices and let's delete that so why can i select okay uh, let's select this middle one let's delete uh, the middle vertices and now let's select this outer loop and i want to move it uh, towards the eye and towards the eye till it hits this loop and it depends on you how far you want this to be but usually i just move it till it fits till it's uh, move towards this uh, loop and thanks to that you have this nice indent that is going around in the eye so if i go to the solid view it looks something like this so let's go back to the modeling edit mode and now i just want to extrude it uh, towards the center of the eye so let's go to the wireframe let's extrude it on the y-axis and let's go to the front view and i want to extrude it 
and now right, cl right click to deselect so you have this uh, new loop on your loop and now let's scale it down somewhere like this and now let's click F to close the hole and thanks to that you have this smooth looking eye with the hole inside so you have this uh, indent but I don't want it to be that way I want it to be more sharp because uh, it's the kind of stylized thing that I like so let's go to the edit mode and I want to add a new loop cut so let's first add the loop cut here and let's move it closer to this uh, loop and thanks to that you will get this nice uh, sharp result here and I want I also want to do the same uh, with this loop here so let's add a loop here and let's move it closer to this loop and thanks to that you get um, something like this which is very nice so you can clearly see uh, where the hole is and the last loop I want to do is the loop that is inside this part so we don't want this part to be smooth we want to add the loop cut inside here and let's move it down somewhere like here till, till you can see that this is uh, a cylinder so you can see the uh, the edges sharp edges and this is the second kind of eye like that I use and this was the eye that I used with this character so now we can select this eye and let's delete it and now let's move this eye to this character and as you can see I think this eye is the best maybe let's I will go to sculpt mode for a bit because you can see the uh, mesh here so I will just delete it so it will not be visible okay so this is the eye and as you can see he looks very nice uh, and also it looks very wise with the character that are, are wise and I use it mostly with the stylized characters so if you have very stylized character this kind of eye uh, should fit your character and also it gives your character a sharp look so they look a bit evil but if you do it on the girl uh, I think it she will look more sexy or something so this kind of eye I think shouldn't be used with soft characters so only with more evil characters but it really depends on on your character so let's move on to the next eye so we can duplicate this eye and move it to the right on the x-axis and the only thing I want to change is to delete those uh, inner loop here so let's go to the wireframe so it will be easier for us to see I want to select this edge also this edge and this edge loop and we want to delete it so you have no indent and you have this only this part and now I just want to close this loop but if you close it with the F and you go back to the uh, object mode you can see that it has some artifacts and it doesn't look really great so let's undo this thing and now to fix that we just have to make a smaller loop so click E to extrude to somewhere like here and now click F and this will be less visible as you can see there's this is barely visible and yeah this is another kind of eye that I use you can make this part sharper if you want by just adding a edge loop and move it outwards like this so you can see it more clearly and now we can delete this eye and let's move it to the right the left sorry and yeah another ty type of eye that I use uh, not too often but there's definitely uh, a character that will uh, fit with this eye so also it looks really good I think maybe he's he, you can 
clearly see the iris and the pupil. They are a bit different, but you can see them. And he looks some, somewhere in the between of blind <laughs> people and the, the people that can see. So you, ha you just have to try which one fits your needs. And now let's move on to the last one, the, the one that uh, is most general, most neutral. So let's delete this uh, sphere or maybe just leave it and I will add a new UV sphere. And I will do the same so that subdivide it and smooth it. And also add the mirror modifier. Select the alien and let's get it down till it fits our character somewhere like here like this okay and move it to the left and now we can select the other eye and let's delete it and you have this eye that we started with so i can scale it a bit more and now let's move it to the right so first thing i want to do is rotate it again by 90 degrees on the x-axis and give me guys a second, I, I need to take a water. So, uh, this kind of eye will have a very visible iris and pupil, and you can change it. Uh, so, usually I make the iris start from the fourth loop, so, okay from the third loop so this is the first one this is second and this is third and it really depends on your character so i usually start with the third one so i select all the edges uh, from the third one to the center and i just extrude it on the z-axis just a tad and thanks to that we will have uh, iris as you can see here maybe it's too big but Never mind, we can change it later. And I also want to make an iris, and usually the iris, I just use the first loop and the center, and I just go to the right view and extrude it again on the Y axis. And thanks to that, you should have this uh, this kind of eye that looks a bit like, like a boob, but it's an eye. So, uh, we want to make it more sharp so I want to add the edge loop here and move it towards this loop and also one more loop uh, here where I extrude it and move it towards the this loop okay so now you should have this sharp uh, looking edges and you can clearly see that this is the iris and this is the pupil and now if I move it uh, towards my character uh, and let's move it more backwards you can see that uh, this kind of eye is m most ne neutral I think the iris are too big for now and the pupil is too small but you can adjust it very easily by just select, uh, selecting the middle uh, vertice and click ctrl plus on your numpad so it will increase the selection and you have to select all the loop cuts all the loops that made your pupil and you can just scale them up and you can see that the left eye that it change, changes so if you have a small pupil, pupil uh, your character will looks like uh, he is some kind of evil guy or he's uh, hypnotized or he just eye so he took some drug and he's high or or if you want to make a robot they have a small pupil or they are just uh, focused on something so this is the case where you have a small pupil but if you have a bigger one okay something like this this may be too big but uh, never mind and uh, they will look more like they are very wise or they are uh, in some kind of dream, they are dreamy and they, they tend to look more soft so you just have to find something that fits your needs 
and you can also do the same with the pop fill so you can you just have to select the loops that made uh, the iris sorry and you can scale it down scale it up and yeah you can customize it and the last thing uh, you can rotate them so if you click r uh, double r so it will you can rotate the eye in in the position and you can get some nice interesting looking results it's like for example if you want your character to be to be looking more sleepy so you can just move rotate the eye uh, up so they will look more sleepy or i don't know or they have uh, this thing i don't know so it really depends on your character so this is the most basic eyes that i use and it really depends on your character but you just have to experiment there's a lot of other eyes that you can do uh, but uh, i don't use that often the other kind of eyes so don't think about the eyes at the beginning uh, it I think you should just put the the basic sphere at the beginning just for placement and at the end when you have your character already sculpted and done and you know what he'll look like what mood you want to to give to your audience and uh, what feelings you want your character to uh, emit and then you should uh, think about what kind of eye you want your character to have so i always do it almost at the end so uh, i think that will be it guys for the tutorial uh, and yeah mm, let me know if you have other eyes if you use other eyes and also uh, if you have seen any suggestions for the future videos just let me know in the comments so thank you and see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye.